where reverse mortgages fit in modern retirement planning. Welcome to the Industry Leader Update brought to you by Reverse Focus. The idea that people can retire at 62 and walk around holding hands on the beach is not realistic, said Alicia Minnell, director of Boston College's Center for Retirement Research. These words fit the Boston Globe's description of Manel as one not to sugarcoat her opinions. Manel is no newcomer to the American retirement dilemma, having served as a top economist at the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston in 1991 after earning her doctorate in economics from Harvard University. She also served as an assistant secretary of the Treasury and a member of the President's Council on Economic Advisors under the Clinton administration. Falling Short, The Coming Retirement Crisis and What to Do About It is Manel's 23rd published book. In it, she outlines the abandonment of traditional pensions by companies and a move toward 401k plans. In fact, in 1983, nearly two-thirds of retired workers enjoyed a traditional pension plan in addition to Social Security. These factors, coupled with the projection that Social Security will be unable to meet its obligations in 20 years, spell trouble for retirees. Having earned a reputation as a firebrand who points out inconvenient truths, her book serves as a warning and a wake-up call for Americans to take action to improve their retirement. Her advice should be heeded as she has studied pensions and Social Security since the 1960s. One of her strategies outlined in the book is to plan on working longer and delaying Social Security benefits until age 70. By doing so, she says individuals can increase their Social Security payments by 76%. This also allows more time for pre-retirees to continue to save and catch up on their retirement nest egg. Unfortunately, her recommendation of using a reverse mortgage is viewed as controversial by some. Critics argue that the reverse mortgage is overly complex and targets seniors who will quickly deplete the funds and end up losing their home due to non-payment of taxes and insurance. Perhaps these critics miss the recent announcement of the upcoming financial assessment. And the question that I would pose to these critics is, then what other solutions would you propose? Now such questions are usually met with silence. That said, Manel is an intellectually honest economist and an advocate for retirees. Two years ago, she invested in and also joined the board of directors of Longbridge Financial, a New Jersey-based reverse mortgage lender. Denial by both the mainstream media and older Americans will only further hurt future retirees' chances of having enough money to live on. Let's hope that pundits like Manel and her book open the eyes of both the true state of retirement in the U.S and the underfunded and unprepared. Now, what are your views on Manel's recommendations in her book? Leave your thoughts below and have a great week.